Hi, this is Dasbox Mom, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is going to be Buck Rogers Countdown to Doomsday. It is a gold box game, but it's not a fantasy one. It's based on the Buck Rogers Roman numeral 25C role playing system from TSR, which is an adaptation of the AD&D rules probably closer to second edition than first because of the introduction of a skill system I've already got the graphics and sound configured the way I want so let's start And we have the Strategic Simulations Inc., the title screen. This game was published in 1990 by SSI. It was one of the later Gold Box games. And here's the credits. This game was actually was released for several platforms. Um, the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive. There's some Let's Plays. I'll try to include a link to one of those. We have here a choice of either play or demo. We'll be going to the demo in just a second here. Um, there were also C64 and I think Amiga releases of this. Okay, let's switch to the demo at this point. After hearing of the bravery of Buck Rogers and the New Earth Organization, you have decided to join Neo and fight the Ram Menace that is terrorizing the solar system. And you hear footsteps. Ram can and will strike at any opportunity. Not even the Earth is safe from their depredations. And this is a screen you'll see very early in the game. As you will these guys. One of Ram's many deadly weapons is a genetically engineered terrine. And we now have our combat demo. And as in the fantasy based gold box games, the combat results do vary. Notice there's like mini explosive grenades, plasma throwers, rocket launchers, which mimic the effects of some of the spells like Fireball and Ice Storm from the AD&D type games. Lots of range weapons overall. There are a few melee weapons and they can be pretty useful in certain circumstances too. Now why they needed to use an explosive grenade when there was only one opponent left that seems silly. Any victory of yours is a victory for Neo and all of Earth. Your battles will not be limited to Earth. You will travel through deep space, from Mercury to the distant asteroids. Amidst all the danger lies the occasional oasis of safety. Always remember that you do not strive alone. Many people are there to aid you on your way. Even a legend from the past will lend a hand. Never forget the shining jewel which you battle to protect. It's like the wall sets look kind of uh, EGA maybe, but it, it's basically VGA graphics. And we should be able to get back to the choice of play versus demo any second now. We can speed it up by just hitting enter. And this time we'll choose play. And since this is the first game in this series, yeah, we can't import characters from any place else. We will have to create characters from scratch. And because of the skill system, it's going to take a while. So we'll try creating at least one on screen. And then I may possibly 
pause the recording or splice this with a second recording into one longer one so you can see what the party looks like once everyone's created. Okay, so we're going to create new character and we have six different races to choose from. This is you know straight Terran, straight human just like you and me and then these are basically human, very mildly adapted to life in colonies on some of the other planets. Tinkers are really little guys. There's only a couple of occupations that they're really suited for. Desert runners well, you'll see what they're like. They're tough. They make excellent warriors. And rocket jocks, too. Okay, I think we're going to do our tinker first. That's probably easiest to start with because there's fewer choices to make. And I'm going to make mine female. <laughs> Excuse me. And I usually like to make my Tinker the medic. Although Tinkers can also be engineers. And trying to remember, I think all of these statistics can be modified once you have the party rolled up. So I think we'll just go ahead and accept what we've got. Let's see if we can modify them later. Yeah. So, no, we will not reroll the stats. And we will name our tinker Hosita. <sighs> this is actually in honor of the first dog that Mr. Dosbox Mom and I owned. As Julie was. Yeah. And now we get to allocate points. Notice all those points we have to allocate. These are careers. <coughs> you know, it's a medic. <coughs> Sorry. Now she's going to be able to treat various kinds of wounds, diagnose, treat poisoning, stun paralysis. Okay, so I believe they tell us that for the purposes of this game, we really want to concentrate on the Treat Light Wound series and Treat Poisoning. And then we do need to put some points into diagnose, but not that many. And they say you don't need you don't need treat disease, you don't need life suspension technology, although you will need it in matrix cubed. So eventually, you want to put some points into that. So let's start with, well, let's see how many we need to get. Okay, we need 30 points of treat light wounds. So let's go ahead and just keep adding points. Um, diagnose, we only need 15 points there. Yeah, you can either click with the mouse button or keep tapping A for add. Whatever works. Okay, and that gives us enough to do treat poisoning. Okay. 
Okay, this one we need 25 points to diagnose. We eventually we'll want that. Okay, treat critical wounds, we need 40 points and treat serious wounds, so we're not going to get that right away. Um, okay. okay, let's go back to this and bring this up to 10. And then let's see. Don't think we need to worry about developing that yet. Okay, that should do to start with. And then we'll hit D for done. And now we're going to open general skills. Okay, everybody needs maneuver in zero G. Um, not at all sure if the medic needs to open first aid. The medic might be the one person who doesn't have to open first aid. Well, well, we'll give the medic just a few points. Okay, and then everybody needs maneuver in zero G. So let's go to the next page and see where we can find that. Okay, here we go. And then at least one character should develop battle tactics, leadership, that sounds like warrior skills, pilot rocket, yeah, well, we've, we've developed the medic skills. Okay, there aren't any specific skills needed for Chicago or Salvation. Paraelectrical notice, programming, treat poison, and maneuver in zero G. Oh gosh. Tell you what, let's go back. Okay, this is where we started. Take a look at the bonus. The bonus depends on the character stats that you rolled up. Yeah, notice our medic has a bonus of 16 in this area for most things. 16's there. 19 here. So, yeah, very high dexterity. 13 there, so maybe that's not a good category for the medic to work on. Or 16 there. Okay, so... Yeah, wouldn't worry about the medic having piloting skills because they wouldn't fit in the piloting gear. But, it's bypass security. No. Open lock. Demolitions, notice, bypass security, oh, I am going through in the clue book the list of skills that they suggest are going to be needed by each area. Sensor ops, 
notice library search a lot of these skills that aren't piloting skills are ones that a rogue would use too notice planetology disguise etiquette planetary survival notice programming demolitions climbing okay let's open climbing bypass security open locks library search friend animal hide in shadows Pick pocket I don't know, looks like the Tinker might be thinking of becoming a backup to the road. Climb ac acrobatics. Intimidate. Disguise. The friend animal. Acrobatics. Intimidate. Bath talk. Pickpocket. Bypass security. Maneuver in zero G. Repair electrical. Demolitions. Well, outpost. Library search. Hide in shadows. Sing. Shadowing. Fast talk convince. Notice. Pickpocket. Pilot rocket navigation. Astrogation. Astronomy sensor ops. I think that's about it. Okay, let's add a few more to maneuver in zero G. And then I'm not going to bother putting more into first aid. We've got all the medical skills opened. Oh. Maybe a few more points in maneuver in zero G. Yeah, that should do. And the tinker, there's just a couple of, I see, this is very much like Dark Queen of Kryn, where instead of picking every last color for every last bit, they give you a selection of pre-generated combat icons. For a tinker, there's not that many that would work. It's basically this one, or I think maybe this one. That's probably the tinker engineer. But this will work. So we'll say done. Is so this icon okay? Yeah. So this is Hosita, and we've saved her. And now at this point, we're going to take a break, roll up the rest of the party, and we'll come back in a bit so we'll see you then <laughs>